Hi guys, today we're going to show you our custom shoe closet. Initially, uh, this closet was meant only for uh, closing, so we only had this top shelf here. And as you can see, we added four more shelves. We used the wire shelving, which we had left over from a different project, and uh, we used one by twos as uh, supports, pieces of wood, which we cut to size together with the shelves and uh, painted the whole thing and we actually painted the wire shelving as well with the primer which we will show you guys shortly uh, the distance between shelves is uh, around 12 inches 12 inches and yes 12 inches this allows us to put two rows of shoes on each of these shelves and actually let's see how much stuff it can fit and here we are our shoes are inside the closet it managed to fit a lot of shoes not all of them but still a lot the shoes that we use more or less often and this is how it looks now again as i said this closet is a little bit weird because it's too small for regular uh, closing and as i said before we managed to convert it into the shoe closet by the way these shelves can be easily removed you just pull them off carefully and the whole thing comes out uh, this can be helpful in case if at some point you want to transform it into something else or uh, to back to regular closet for example this can easily be done this way and you can easily install it back in like this right now we'll show you how we cut all these uh, wire shelves how we install the 2x4s on the walls and uh, how we painted uh, the whole thing enjoy the rest of the video we made our marks there is one right here and uh, three more right here and the distance between marks is approximately one foot between each we think that this will be enough and the bottom one uh, will be the large one the width of our level is approximately the same as the width of our shelf so we have to make sure that the line is straight this bubble has to be in the middle this one right here and now i will simply make a straight line all the way Now we'll need to use the same method to mark uh, the other two walls. The bubble is in the middle on our level and simply continue the line making sure that it is level. This will ensure that our shelves are straight and repeat on the rest of the marks. We will be using these one by twos as a support for our shelves and right now we'll have to figure out the length of uh, each piece of wood so it will start approximately from here we'll have to cut off a small uh, corner on each of the pieces and uh, this is uh, will, this will be the length of our pieces of wood there are different ways how you can cut the wood you can use the regular saw uh, today we'll be using this cordless saw from the vault and uh, ideally you need to use uh, a wise bench wise like this the length of each piece in our case is approximately 12 inches and now we can cut it
we will also have to cut out uh, this corner for this we'll be using the scroll saw but you can also use the regular saw to cut out the piece The next step will be to cut our shelf to size, for that we'll have to actually measure the distance from the left wall to the right wall. So in this case uh, it's 24 and a half inches approximately from left to the right and you have to do the same thing in the back. So in the back this is a mark for the left wall and this is the right wall. And in this case it's 24, uh, 24 inches. The reason for that is that the walls in your closet are not perfect that's why there will be these differences and you'll have to measure each uh, side individually to cut our shelf we'll use this makita cordless uh, grinder this is how it looks and now we can cut it When you guys work with these grinders, make sure to have eye protection. Now that we have cut our wood and our shelves, now we will mark uh, the holes for the uh, screws. So in this case it's going to be at uh, 10 inches and at 2 inches. Repeat on each piece of wood. The length of the screws should be approximately like this, this way it will enter the drywall but won't uh, go too far. Now we'll make the pilot holes. Now we're going to enlarge our pilot hole on the wood. Now we'll use a larger drill bit to drill uh, an opening for the head of the screw. This way it will be even with the surface and when you do it you have to do it in reverse. Now we'll apply the glue, we're using Gorilla Glue. This glue expands uh, three or four times uh, more than uh, when you apply it. So be ready for that, that's why don't apply too much. Just a thin line in the middle of the wood will be completely enough. Now because we uh, made the pilot hole, now you will be able to feel once the screw gets into the drywall and uh, just manually tighten it and again don't over tighten because otherwise uh, the drywall will get damaged. And this should be enough. Now let it dry for one day preferably and after that we will be able to install our shelves on top. Okay, we have all our supports installed. 
the glue is now dry. Show you how it looks. We have a little bit of glue that came out, which we cleaned, but only in a few spots. Other than that, all of them are now secure on the wall. They are not going anywhere. The next step will be to use the caulking gun to seal all the gaps for our supports. I'm using Alex Plus caulking. Should last for 40 years and this is a very good caulking gun. It's tripless. I will leave you guys links in the description. We will seal all these gaps. Just push the handle and the cooking will start coming out. You can use your finger. To push the cooking inside first, I will use the red again to remove any excessive amount of cooking. And we will repeat it basically all around the same procedure. I will continue right here. We will repeat this procedure on each of the supports and then uh, uh, we'll let cooking dry for about an hour and then we'll have to prime all these wooden pieces before we start painting it. Now it's time to prime our wood. I will be using the shellac based primer for this. This thing works great on pretty much any surface. It sticks to anything and I strongly recommend you to use this one because this will ensure that our wood is properly sealed and it, after that it will bond properly with our paint. Also, when you guys use this product, be careful not to get any on the floor because it's very hard to clean it off. And besides that, we'll use uh, old brush. You can use the old brush or you can use uh, buy cheap uh, brush because after that you will have to throw it away. And if the primer is like this, as you can see, it's kind of uh, brownish. We'll have to first stir it up. Keep stirring the primer until it becomes white. It's good to go now. I will pour some primer into the small tray. And immediately close the lid. Put some primer into your brush and carefully start priming the wood. I'm not worried about the wood since all this will have to be uh, repainted afterwards. You can also use a roller if you want, but uh, these are not too big, that's why you can simply use the brush. I will apply two coats. I will let this one dry first and then I will do another coat of primer and I'll do the bottom area as well. Okay, so this side is done. I mean, this piece is done. Now I will keep going on all of them and as I said, I'll put two coats. We'll actually use the same shellac based primer to prime or paint uh, our shelving. As you can see, there is loss, uh, there is, <laughs> as you can see, there is rust on the edges, especially. And the good thing about this primer, it actually covers and blocks the rust as well. What I will do, I will put some paint in my brush and carefully start putting the paint in this manner. The trick here is not to put too much paint and you basically just go around and uh, paint the shelving this way 
it may take some time but if you don't uh, prime and paint them they will keep rusting so proceed this way and basically do it uh, for the whole shelf I'm done priming the supports I'll show you guys how they look after two coats they look pretty good now now I'll paint will stick to the wood without any issues and yeah pretty much we are ready to repaint the whole thing all right our one by twos are fully painted together with our shelving we only used the shellac primer on them but uh, they still look good no more rust anywhere I'll try to show you guys up close again how they look we have four new shelves in our closet so now we can conveniently uh, put all the shoes inside this closet and at this point installation is pretty much done thank you guys for watching stay tuned and uh, see you in the next video